policies that drain other nations of their resources. That's in his speech at a prominent think tank, the Valdai Discussion Club. Our Western colleagues, especially from the United States, teach us who and how they should behave in general. All the time it sounds like you must. We are seriously warning you. Who are you? What right do you have to warn anyone? 80 people are killed and more than 200 wounded in a drone strike on a Syrian military college. Damascus says the U.S. should condemn foreign sponsors of terrorism. France says it will start withdrawing its troops from Niger. That's amid massive anti-French protests in the West African country following a military coup two months ago. Live from Moscow International News Center in Moscow, as I said, this is RT and welcome to the Global News Hour. Russian President Vladimir Putin recently finished talks with the country's premier think tank of the Valdai Discussion Club in Sochi. He spoke with geopolitical experts, journalists and other high-profile figures for over three hours, covering a vast range of topics from domestic affairs to global challenges. Let's listen to some of the key points. The United States and its satellites have firmly set a course for hegemony, military, political, economic, cultural, and even regarding morals and values. It was clear to us from the very beginning that attempts to establish a monopoly were doomed to failure. The prosperity of the West has largely been achieved by plundering the resources of colonies over the centuries. It's a fact. The history of the West is essentially a chronicle of endless expansion. Western influence in the world is a huge military, financial pyramid. It needs new fuel all the time to sustain itself, natural, technological, and even human resources. The West simply cannot stop and was never going to do that. I have repeatedly said that we did not start the so-called war in Ukraine. On the contrary, we are trying to finish it. We did not stage a coup in Kiev in 2014. The coup was bloody and unconstitutional in an international system where arbitrariness reigns, where everything is decided by the one who imagines himself to be exceptional, without sin, and to be the only one who's right. Anyone else can be under attack simply for the reason that the hegemon did not like this or that country. The Ukrainian crisis is not a territorial conflict. I want to emphasize this. Russia is the largest country in the world by territory. We have no interest in terms of conquering any additional territories. They are trying to mold an enemy image out of everyone. Everyone who is not ready to blindly follow the Western elites. Out of China, and in certain situations they have tried to create an enemy image out of India as well. Now they are playing. We understand it very well. We see the situation in Asia, and everything is clear. The Indian leadership, I want to say, is independent, very nationally oriented. The West is trying to make an enemy out of the Arab world, and even from Muslims, they are trying to mold some kind of hostile environment. Artificial geopolitical constructions are being imposed on the world. For this purpose, they are trying to replace international law with order. They are trying to instill in the minds of millions of people that it is necessary to live by the rules. But what rules? Our Western colleagues, especially from the United States, not only arbitrarily create their own rules, but also teach us who and how they should follow them, who and how they should behave in general. As a rule, all that is done in a frankly boorish form, it is a manifestation of colonial thinking. All the time it sounds like, you must. We are seriously warning you. Who are you? What right do you have to warn anyone? The world of the future is a world of collective decisions, taken at the level at which they are most effective and by the set of actors who can actually contribute to the resolution of a particular problem. No one decides for all. 
and not all even decide for all. But those who are directly affected by an issue agree on what to do and how. The main thing is to free international relations from the colonial era and the Cold War. It is simply necessary to give up pride and arrogance and stop looking at others as second-class partners. President Putin also mentioned the nuclear situation. He expressed confidence that there is no direct threat of a nuclear war, but he said Russia would retaliate if its sovereignty is threatened. Everything can be changed, though I don't see a need for it. There is no situation in which anything can threaten Russia's statehood. I think no person in his right and clear mind would think of using nuclear weapons against Russia. A potential adversary knows about our capabilities. I hear calls to start testing nuclear weapons. The U.S. had signed an international act banning nuclear weapons testing. Russia also signed the treaty and ratified it. But the U.S. has done so without ratification. We have practically finished the work on modern strategic weapons, which I announced a few years ago. A successful test of the Buravestnik was conducted, a global range cruise missile with a nuclear propulsion system. We have also finished work on our Sarmat super heavy missile. Specialists say the weapon is new, and we need to make sure that the special warhead will work without failure. So we need to conduct tests. I am not ready to say now whether or not they are necessary, but we can behave in a mirror-like manner in our relations with the United States. This is a question for members of the Russian parliament, and theoretically it is possible to revoke our ratification. Vladimir Putin has delivered yet another of his keynote speeches, talking for a... All we are saying is all praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, our heavenly father, and his only begotten son, our King, the Redeemer of Israel, whose gospel we are preaching, he says the testimony of our King, the Redeemer of Israel, is the, what? the spirit of prophecy. Eh? It's all about the prophecy and prophecy. You heard it from Putin's own mouth. Eh? These are not my words. These are coming from what? the leader of Russia, Vladimir Putin. He's the one the Lord is raising up in this last day to take down the last leg of the Roman Empire, which is America, NATO, and the West. It is Russia along with its allies, China, India, uh, what is it called? Uh, Iran, North Korea, all these nations are waiting for the opportunity to finally take down the beast because these are the nations that have colonized them, pillaged, raped, destroyed their society and raised themselves up and then they look down on you. They've stole your resources. They've colonized you. Hmm? Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, colonize you, steal all your resources, and they look down on you. They say, you should pull, pull your what? Your bootstraps. That's right. That's right, family. These are the same ones that put the name nigger. The same people that gave you the name black, negro, colored. It seems like every century they change your name. African American and Native American. Negroes, Native Indians. That's right. You are the Hebrew Israelite. That's right. It is the Lord Yahweh that gave you into their hands. You hear that? The Lord gave you into their hands to punish you. Why did the Lord punish you? Because you are stiff-necked. That's right. You don't listen to instructions. The Lord gave us statutes and commandments to set us apart from these nations. But, oh no, that is not good enough for us. We have to do whatever the Greeks are doing, whatever the Romans are doing. Yes, they are telling you right now that, yeah, a man can get pregnant and you actually believe it. Eh? You said, oh yes, let's allow grown men to put on skirts and high heel shoes and they can read story. We can have a story time for our little children. That's right. This is democracy. This is freedom and this is liberty. This is what Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is about to wipe off the face of this planet. That's where everything is leading to. It's third world war. And yes, those missiles are going to be used. You heard them. You heard Russia. You, since when did you hear Putin openly talk about how good their missiles are and how ready they are to face America? No, family, he is putting it all out there, telling America, who are you to tell us, to threaten us, to tell us who we should talk to and who we shouldn't talk to? That's right. This is the time that we are living in. If anybody telling you to go and buy a land and invest in a land and build a house, run away from them. They don't know what, what is happening. And your, your, your pork chop eaten, 
shrimp eating pastor who's out there big belly he has many cars and he has mansions and eh? Pro preaching prosperity gospel run away from him he doesn't know but guess what the lord says what we should what? continue to warn you so we're going to bring it out you see we're going to bring it out. The Lord said, it doesn't matter whether this stiff neck wants to continue to, they, they want to hear the word or not, continue to warn them. Because the Lord is bringing judgment. The Lord is bringing judgment. But before I bring the precept out, let's give honor and glory to the power of Abraham once again. Eh? The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh means he is. That is his name in the Hebrew tongue. Yahweh. And his only begotten son, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the beginning and the ending. You see, they are separate entities. He, Yahweh Shai, he is the word. He came here in the flesh. He walked among us. He taught us by the, uh, by the riverside, by the lakeside. Eh? That's why in the synagogue, waking up day in and day out. Even when his own people wanted to kill him, guess what? He still showed up to teach us. He healed the sick. Mm? That's why he raised the dead. And he turned water into wine. That's what we believe in. We believe in our King Yahweh Shai. That yes, the same men that were there with him 2,000 years ago, they are back in their lot, waiting for the second coming of their king. Because when the king went up, just according to the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 9, they saw the king being beamed up into the chariot. And then the angels asked them, Ye men of Galilee, what are you looking up for? Eh? You see that same eh, glorious man, the most powerful man, eh? our King Yahweh Shai. You see the same one that you're seeing going up into the chariot, the same one is going to come in the same manner in the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Boom, family, this is what we are waiting for. So when we see Putin openly talking about the missiles, eh, the third world war, that's why the, 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 the multipolar, because unipolar was what? America. They were the one ruling over the world. But now Russia said, no, 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 no. Enough of that nonsense. So guess what? We're going to settle it. Eh? It's called Third World War. Eh? If you can see it, pray that the Lord can give, it to you, can give you the eyes salve to see it. Hmm? It says here, Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2. It says, and the spirit entered into me when he spoke unto me and set me upon my feet. That I heard him that spoke unto me. Eh? This is Ezekiel. He says the spirit came upon him. The same way the Lord, Yahweh Shai, continued to work with it. When the spirit jumped on us, guess what? We have no other choice but to put a lesson together. That's right. That we, where can we come to you in the mighty and the holy name? Eh? The true, the spirit and power of our king, Yahweh Shai. He, he says, and he said unto me, son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. You hear that? He didn't send us to any other children because even Yahweh Shai says in the book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 6, it says what? Yeah, go to what? The lordship of what? The house of Israel. And as ye go, tell them what? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Salvation is only for the Negroes, Latinos, African American, uh, and Native American. Eh? That's why right. you so-called black. That's who salvation is for. It's not for the rest of the nation. Okay? They came up with universal salvation. This is a man-made doctrine. But according to the book, the book of our king, Yahweh, eh? our power, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, salvation is only for the Israelite. A remnant. You hear? A remnant, meaning what? Few. Now let's continue. It says here, and he said unto me, son of man, I send thee to what? The children of of who? Israel. He didn't say the Moabite. He didn't say the Timonite. He didn't say the Ammonite. He didn't say the Ishmaelite. He says what? Israel. To a rebellious nation. That's why we are rebellious. We don't listen to the Lord. Eh? But he is a father. And eventually he punishes you. And eventually, guess what? He realized that, man, you know what though? Well, I birthed them. So guess what? I must well, you know what though? Deal with them. The promise he made unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, it is forever. So yes, he punished us because why? We are sons. You see why? Because he said, whom my father uh, chastened him, he loves. Roughly paraphrasing. If your father don't love you, guess what? If you are going off, he's just going to sit back and just do nothing about it. My father loves you. Guess what? He's going to discipline you. That's right. If the Lord doesn't discipline you, mean you are. You are a bastard. You don't have a father. He says here, to a rebellious nation... That have rebelled against me, they and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. Yes, you see our family members, they are unwell. 
world star hip hop and they are out there showing their asses our women on on uh, social platform bragging about how many men they can sleep with in a day oh yes they are doing all type of wickedness yes this is what esau promotes liberty freedom do as thou will spirit there's no control okay there's no control and eh? he's telling you that yes now a man can get pregnant a woman can change to a man and everybody say oh yeah that is a good idea but guess what eh? you can wake up this morning if you want to sleep with a goat Esau said go ahead and do it because it's what liberty and freedom that's what the Lord is about to wipe this wicked rulership off the map Hey, Esau is not fit to rule. That's why he's raising the kings of the meat, Russia, and all these allies, North Korea, Iran, hey, uh, what is it called? China. Hey, they are eventually going to join up to take down this wicked kingdom. And that's what we are waiting for. It says here, they and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. It says here, for they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus says the Lord power. Hey, this, this is the Lord saying, I know, I know the type of people I'm sending you to. Israel, hey, they are stiff necked, impudent, stupid, and they don't listen. Hey, the most, the creator of the heaven and the earth have chosen them. But rather, no, they want to worship sweet baby Jesus, an idol, made up. How crazy is that? How crazy is that the, oh, the entire world actually think that something, the sweet baby Jesus, pale skin, blue eyes, blonde hair, is coming to save them. That's how delusional this entire thing is. And he says that that says the Lord power. You see, he says here, and they, whether they will hear, this is the point. Verse 5, he says, and they, who, who they, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, so-called blacks, so-called African-American, Native American, Caribbean, whatever you call yourself today, and Native Indian, Native American, you are the children of Israel. He says here, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, eh? for they are rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. When everything start popping off, when people start eating their own children for because of lack of bread, when homes are being ravished, that's right, because the, the Bible tells you, is uh, was the second Ezra, women are going to be raped. The tribulation that are coming, oh yeah. You see, now the women, they have a choice to pick which men they sleep with. The time is coming when they're not going to have the choice. This is what is coming. That's what the Lord says, just continue to warn them. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. He said that there have been, what? A prophet among them. When they are going through that tribute, that hardship, when they are eating their own kids, when their homes are being uh, ravaged, a family, yes, several, that's when they're going to know that, yes, I remember that guy on YouTube was saying that the end was coming and Russia was going to take down Babylon the Great and there will be farming and the, uh, people going to be eating each other. That's when they're going to remember that there has been a prophet among them. They didn't take it. Just like Noah's days. Remember when Noah was building the ark? Eh? He was building the ark for what? Over 121 years. And Noah was preaching, telling them that what? The earth was going to be destroyed by what? Flood. And guess what? They mocked. They make fun of Noah. Look at this old man here. He has lost his mind. They should put him in institution. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Until the flood came. And then the Lord gathered Noah and his household. That was the remnant in those days, the elect. And then the Lord closed the door. And then these same wicked people were saying, open the door. Oh, Noah, please, please. No, it was too late. That's right. Because when Yahweh sent his men out there to preach to you, you Israel, yeah, to preach to you, guess what? You were mocking. The same thing is happening right now. Yahweh Shai himself said it. It's just going to be like the days of Noah. Our king, Yahweh Shai, said in the book of Matthew, I believe it's Matthew 24, he said, it's just going to be like the days of Noah. But he says, continue to warn them. Just do your job. Hey, I send you out every morning. Continue to warn them. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. You heard Putin said it. 
Now, we're going to bring what some of the stuff that he said. They test a successful nuclear missile a few days ago. It says here, Putin claims successful test of nuclear-powered global range cruise missile. Global range. You hear that? Global range. Meaning we can go around the world. You hear that? Global range cruise missile for the first time. Why everything is... You see, you see, you see the, um, the pattern here? First time. This is the first time this is happening. This is the first time. Because the Lord continued to remind you. Daniel 12, 1. It says it's going to be a time like no other. Jeremiah 37. It's going to be like a time like no other. Joel 2, 2. It says it's going to be a time, this time that we're about to enter into has never happened before. And now you come across these other cases here for the first time ever. That's right. Because this is all leading to the second coming of our king. He's about to set this world on fire. That's what we are here to warn you. You, Israel. That's right. The rest of the nation, they know what is coming for them. They're all going into captivity. Slavery. Yes. It sounds, it sounds weird, eh? The kingdom of heaven is going to be... They're going to be slaves in this kingdom of heaven. Yes, they're going to be slaves in the kingdom of heaven. All these nations. Remember uh, Psalm chapter 2 verse 8? Eh? It says, ask of me, I will give you uh, the hidden for thy inheritance. What do you think that means? Oh yeah, they are all going into slavery. Eh? Jeremiah, verse, Jeremiah 30, 16. Eh? Revelation 13, 10. Eh? Isaiah 14, 2 and 3, I believe. Eh? Family, all oh, this. Mm. Yes. They are all the nations. They are all going into captivity. But you, Israel, the Lord is still showing mercy. The, the, the mercy door is still open. Eh? That's why we are bringing these lessons out every day. You think it's by our... No, no, no. It's the Lord that wakes us up. And this is what he puts in our head every morning. We have to feed the sheep. We have to warn the sheep. Eh? Let's continue. It says here, each year, Russia President Vladimir Putin uses the occasion of the Valdai Discussion Club hosted in Sochi to, uh, to, present, to present on a wide range of foreign policy issues in an, an off and cough manner, which most often comes out in a Q&A format. This man sat down there for three hours. He answered question. Eh? Do you think, uh, what is it called, uh, uh, Biden, the United States president, Bi uh, uh, Joe Biden, can stand there for two minutes? No, he can. He's finished. That goes to show you that America is finished. This guy's walking, walking around with diapers on. Family, he doesn't know his left from his right. You're going to trust him? We're gonna, you're going to trust him? We're going to tell you that what? Oh, yeah, we're going to build back better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, America is going to continue to live forever. Oh, yeah, economic, the economy is going to pick up. You're going to trust him. The law says, this is, the law says what? Don't trust thine enemy. Esau, Edom. Self-proclaimed white man, he is the head. He's your enemy. Uh, or what's it called? Psalm chapter 83. The Lord did you a solid. He did you a favor. He lists all your enemies for you in the book of Psalm 83. And you still trust in this system? If you still trust in this system, the Lord is going to destroy you. Meaning what? You love this world. Because the Lord, Yahweh Shai told you that what? Don't love this world. It says this place is polluted. This place was given into the hand of the wicked. Job 9.24. What else do you want the Lord to tell you? Is this, does this look like a place that you should invest in? There's this place here. When they're telling you that a man can have, uh, can have menstrual cycle and a man can have a baby, is this a place that you want to invest in? Let's continue. It says here, Thursday at this year, Valde event, eh? and one of the statements which is grabbing the attention of Western officials was related to testing nuclear weapons. At a sensitive moment where the last nuclear weapons treaty with the Washington is said to fail, I think no person of sound mind and clear memory will think of using nuclear weapons against Russia. You hear that? Sound mind, clear. He's telling, he's warning you. This is a warning. 
And they're going to use those nuclear missiles. By the way, we're telling you before it happened, and our power, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh shall will get all the glory. Because this, the mystery of this book was only revealed to his prophets, starting with our head apostles. If I didn't say it, let me pause there for a second. Let's give double honors to the head apostles from the great millstone that taught us this truth. That's right. This man, family, taught us this truth. They, some of them have been laboring for 40 plus years. A family, when you look at them, you won't believe it. And they are still sharp as ever. Eh? And we thank the Lord for our teachers. These are the true leaders of Israel. And salutation, peace to all the brothers day in and day out. Bringing this beautiful gospel. The gospel of the kingdom of Yahweh Shai to the elect. That's right. And we pray that we are among the elect. Eh? He says here, I think no person of sound mind and clear memory would think of using nuclear weapons against Russia. Putin began in that segment of a speech before Russian foreign policy officials that when he made a statement being widely perceived as signaling openness to resumption of nuclear testing. He says, I hear calls to start testing nuclear weapons to return to testing. He added, I am not ready to say whether we will really need to conduct tests or not. Hmm? But here, I want to pick it up from here. He said, we conducted the last successful test of the Burevesnik nuclear power global range cruise missile. It's called Skyfall. You hear that family? It's called Skyfall. How beautiful. It actually called Skyfall. What do you think is going to fall? It's America that's going to fall. And the moment America falls, it is Yahweh Shai's kingdom, the Israelite. Esau is the end of the world. And the world is not, the entire world is not going to be burnt up. No, 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 no. The Esau's rule, America, we're telling you again, Babylon the Great. And spiritual Egypt and Sodom, Babylon the Great, nobody's going to live on the land. Because that is where the Lord is about to have his altar. This way he's going about, about to have his sacrifice. You know the Lord, he loves altars, he loves sacrifice. He's going to turn America into a lake of fire. So if you buy a bunker, your, your bug out place, and you're not listening to what we are saying. If you are digging a bunker in the land of America, eh, whether it's in Texas, uh, Atlanta, it doesn't matter, or Florida, we are telling you before it happens. Nobody, you're not going to be safe living on the land of America. It's, that's where the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is about to sacrifice. His big altar is going to be in America. The lake of fire is America. Hey? He says here, where is it? He says, we conducted the last successful test of the Bruvesnik nuclear power global range cruise missile he said this weapon hasn't been publicly mentioned by putin since 2018 and suddenly he's revealed it's been successful tested code name sky 4 by nato the consensus among western analyze, analysts has long been that the technology is likely too hard to achieve given unreliability and val um, volatility of such a nuclear propulsion engine on the deep significance of the threat to possible put the Burevesnik on combat readiness mario newfall comment putin also declined to rule out the possibility it could carry out weapons tests involving nuclear explosion for the first time in more than three decades today putin warned the west of a, res a response to the pressure and is willing to end the war. Mm -hmm. I love it. There's permanently, <coughs> sorry, there is permanently increasing military and political pressure from the West, which is America. Anytime you hear the West family is America, NATO is just a vassal state. They do whatever, NATO and the EU, they do whatever America says, okay? We have to respond. I have said many times that it was not us who started the war in Ukraine. On the contrary, we are trying to end it. And it's going to end it. He said a lot of things, family. I will put these links in the description box. But let me see if I have the image of the the the, the Skyfall. This is, I'm not sure this is the proper code. It says, code, code Skyfall in Moscow. Launch of NATO unstoppable 9M730 Bruzenic, no, sorry, 
um, Buvesnik super missile Putin. No one will survive if Russia is attacked. This is what we want to hear. Family, this is what we want to hear. Because we want to see that, family, that, what is it called? Uh, uh, adoption. No, no, no. We don't, don't we use the word adopt. Yeah, technically, we're going to be adopted by by what? By the angel. Because the Lord is going to come. Yahweh Shari is going to come with the angels. And the sky is going to cover it with all the chariots, which Esau called the UFOs. Eh? Esau called them UFOs. Eh? And they're going to cover the sky. And they're going, you're going to see the elect being beamed up into the ship. Eh? And then the final destruction. The elect are going to see Babylon on fire. They're going to be see looking at that. They're going to look down and eh? pursuing to what? Psalm 91. It said, thou shalt see what? It said, thousand shall fall on thy side and ten thousand on thy, uh, uh, on thy right hand side. And it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes thou shalt see the reward of the wicked. Who do you think he's talking about? Esau's Edom and his nations. That's right. Today they call themselves German, Germans. They call themselves British, the Portuguese, uh, Spanish, and all these fancy names. No, they are the biblical Edomites. Eh? The one ruling before Yahweh Shai comes, the last leg of the Roman Empire, the Edom, the Edomite, self-proclaimed white man. He is the one in charge. He's the one, the king Yahweh Shai is coming to visit. And Yahweh Shai, oh no, he is no pale skin. Uh -huh. He's no blue eyes. He's no blonde hair. He's no so-called white. He's a so-called black man. Eh? He told you. And he is pissed. He can wait. And he, he, he's just waiting for that, that, that shoulder tap. Yes, yeah. son, go get him. And you're going to see something that has never happened on this planet here. Family, I am so excited. Mm. Let's read a bit here. It says here, nuclear being for any NATO anti-ballistic missile. So this is War News 24-7. Family, it's a Greek website, but sometimes, you know what, though, it's a Greek website, and then when you hit the link, it translates into English for you to read it. But sometimes, family, man, you know how it is with technology. Sometimes it doesn't read right, but family, you get a point. I'm going to read a bit of this, and then we're going to bring the precept out, and family, that will be it. You see, it says, Russia president revealed in a speech at the Valde Club, you heard him a bit earlier, and eh? you know what he, what he said, I brought that uh, news article, so I brought that news clip, just so that you can hear it from his own mouth, okay? It says, Russia president revealed in a speech at the Valde Club that the army successful tested it. We just read that in Zero Hedge, so you know what family, I'm not going to bore you with it. I'm not going to bore you with it, because Zero Hedge is just confirming everything that uh, what is it called? Uh, Vladimir Putin said, and also, family, just look at that image, man. You know, this is going to, it can travel the entire world. You see, it can travel the entire world. Family, we are living in a beautiful time. Beautiful, beautiful time. And we're going to wrap this thing up. Okay, we're going to wrap this thing up. All, all my sources, I'll put them in the description box. The articles that I use, including the video, family, I will link it up in the description box and you can access it. And family, again, I hope this message find you in perfect peace. Eh? Perfect peace. Continue to stay prayed up. Eh? We can't drop the baton right now. Family, you see in the finish line, you see the gold medal right there to be put around your neck. Eh? And you're going to drop the baton. No, 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 no. Family, you winning that. We winning this race, Lord willing. All we pray for the Lord to give us strength. Eh? Strength. Increase our faith. And family, we he has shown us enough that we believe. Eh? We have shown us enough. Everything in the Bible that the Lord said will happen. Didn't he say you're going to be a slave? Didn't he send you among all these nations? Eh? That alone did it for me. Okay, that alone did it for me. You see, there are some, some songs that you hear and it's like, man, you can move to that song. You're not feeling it. But there are some song family, when it is, you start, you hear it on the radio, man, you are jamming to it. Eh? This is how it felt. That's right. Because we went to plantation Christianity. We were into all type of different things. And family, nah, it wasn't it. But the moment this song came on, oh, family, break dancing. We're doing the shuffle. We're doing all tap. Oh, uh, the wakalele, whatever uh, dance out there. And the two step, the four step, back and front and sideways. That's right. This is what the song. And Yahweh Shah song. And family, only few people are going to be singing this song. Now let's wrap this thing up. And it says here, the coming day of judgment. The coming day of judgment. You hear that? 
the end of the world, this world, Esau, the white man's world, and the beginning of the Israelite. You so-called Negroes, African Americans, that's right, Native American, your heaven is coming. And the rest of the nation, they're all going into captivity. Isn't that, that sound beautiful, right? In the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have slaves. Oh, yes. We're going to have slaves. He says here, Malachi chapter 4, verse 1, NLT, New Living Translation. Family, it reads beautifully. He says, the Lord of heaven's army says, this is the angels. The missiles, the intercontinental ballistic missiles, the skyfall. These are all his armies. <laughs> these are all his armies. He said, the day of judgment is coming. Mm. Listen to this. The day of judgment is coming. That's what the Lord says. Continue to warn my people. Because it's all about Israel. The Lord is still opening, he's still opening his arm for the elect. Yeah. But the elect are going to hear this message. They're going to be sealed. They're going to say, no, 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 no. But we better shape up. No, they, we better shape up because we don't want to be turned into a barbecue. And it's going to be a slow death too, eh? You're going to feel it. You're going to stand there and there's your eye is going to pop out of your, uh, your, your socket. But it's going to melt. You see, you watch the, the scene in, uh, is it what, uh, this movie, um, Terminator 2. That's right, Terminator 2. There was a scene where uh, one of the, I think Linda Hamilton was like almost, I think she was like daydreaming, holding on to uh, a wire fence, a, a, a wire fence, and uh, he was like daydreaming, and he saw the 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 the, 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 the Babylon, America being destroyed. That's right. That's people literally going to burn, eh, to ashes. This is what is coming. So listen to this: the day of judgment is coming, burning like a furnace. You hear that? Furnace burning like a furnace. It's going to be hot. And me, no, no, no. I like hot weather, but no, there's some hot uh, temperature. There's some, some temperature that I can't deal with. And this is one of them. So guess what? You're going to shape up. You're going to ask the Lord to give you double fear. Eh? Because fear changes behavior. Eh? You're going to think about your actions. Eh? Only the elect are going to be considering. Oh, the only the elect are going to hear this message. But let's see. It says here, the day of judgment is coming. Burning like a furnace. On that day, what? The day of the Lord, the arrogant eh, and the wicked eh, will be burnt up like straw. They will be consumed, roots, branches, and all. That's right. The Lord is not going to leave anything to chance. Eh? So that's why he's sending the man out here, his, his mouthpiece, the prophets, to warn you. He said, but for you, listen to this. But for you who fear my name, eh? that's only going to be the elect. The son of righteousness, which is who? Yahweh Shai, will rise with healing in his wings. Hmm? Because Yahweh Shai is bringing new bodies. And hey, we're going to be changed. Angelic body, a body that will allow us to fly. This is what Yahweh Shai is bringing. He says here, rise with healing in his wings and you will go free. Leaping with joy like calves let out to pasture. You get that? But for you who fear my name, the son of righteousness will rise with healing in his wings. Let me go. It says go to the book of, one second here. Let me go to the book of Philippians. Let me tell you what the Lord is bringing. Hmm? Philippians, let's go to the book of Philippians 3. Philippians 3, quickly, and then we just straight to the point. Let me tell you what the Lord is bringing up. Go to them as well, bring it up. Philippians 3, let's pick it up from, I think it's 20 and 21. It says here, for our conversation, eh, what we are talking about right now, is what? It's in heaven, because family, we are thinking that we are kingdom-minded. We don't care what Esau, we don't care about election. We don't care about their school system, their democracy, eh? their voting. No, 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 family. We are, our conversation, we are thinking about bodies, new bodies, all the planets out there, the mansion that Yahweh Shai uh, promised us. These are the things that we are thinking about. He says, for our conversation is in heaven. From whence also we look for what? The Savior. Who is who's our Savior? The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Yahweh Shai. He says, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and the anointed. He says here, who, listen to this, here is the point. 
who shall change our vile body? You see this body? Eh? Subject to death. Subject to stress. Subject to anxiety. Eh? Subject to anger. All this stuff here, family. Eh? The plague of the mind. Stress. You know, just, just sickness, death, fear. That's right. It is vile. Eh? Listen to what the Lord is about to do to this vile body. Who shall change our vile body? that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he, our King Yahushai, is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Now let's go back to Malachi. But unto you that fear my name, that's right, shall the son of righteousness, who's why Yahushai, arise with healing, including the new bodies, your mansions, you being the richest people ever under our King Yahawashai, and in his wings, you will lack nothing. And no more BLL, no more trying to lift up your cheeks, no more trying to grow your hair, no family, all the women family, you're going to be throwing those wigs off. That's right. The wigs, uh, what is it called? What's, what, what, what else did they put in their hair? Wigs and what's the other one? Um, shoot, it's leaving me now. Wigs and uh, not braids. What's the other thing? The fake hair that you women always put on your head. Um, I can't remember them. I know one is wig and... Wow. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the Lord didn't want me to bring it up. But anyhow, it said, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the store. Yes, family. No more eh? going, trying to see if you can lift up your, your chest, you know, trying to augment, you know, fix your nose because he says your nose, anytime somebody look, your nose looks like it's, 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 it's twitching to the left. You want to bring it to the right or in the middle. Family, all that is done away with. Okay, all that is done away with. But the Lord is coming. Our King Yahawashah is coming. This is serious. Okay, he's bringing everything that we lack, you know. Oh, because society look at you, you feel like there's something wrong with you. Because family, we were not here to prosper. We're here to be punished. The Lord brought us to be punished. But society put it in your, eye, your head that this is it for you. Okay? That's why you see not just our women, but you see our men. You have men out there trying to what, uh, add a little stature to their height. Men having surgery so they can get a little taller. No, family. We have bodies that Yahweh Shai has prepared. The Lord says he already prepared the heavenly tabernacle for us. Eh? That's right. This is all coming together. The Lord is going to bless us tremendously. Okay? The Lord is going to bless us, bless us tremendously beyond our wildest imagination. And the key here is patient and trust the process. Trust the process. The Lord didn't wake you up again. I've said this many times through the spirit and power of our King Yahweh Shai. He didn't give us this gospel, this beautiful gospel to leave us here. No. To show you, he gave us this to show you that he's with us. He has never left us. And he's about to redeem us. That's why you see in all these nations preparing for war. Eh? Leading to the second coming of our King. So beloved, I will leave it there. Like I said, Putin had a lot to say. And yes, he says, America, he's ready for you. But America, they, of course, America is going to be a coward like they always are, you know, because when they went to Iraq, dropped missiles there because what? Iraq didn't have nuclear missiles, right? The same thing with what? Uh, Sad uh, Gaddafi. Gaddafi gave up his nuclear missiles and they convinced him to give up his nuclear missiles and they can welcome him into the so-called so the global world. And then as soon as he did that, boom, they took him out. You know, that's Esau Edom. But Russia, no, the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh, is walk, working through Russia. That's right. Russia mentioned in the book of Ezekiel 38, 7, 5, no, Ezekiel 38, that what? Russia is going to be a God unto those nations. I think it's Ezekiel 38, 5, all the way down. Yes, Russia is going to be a God unto Persia, which is modern day Iran, and all the various countries, Ethiopia is among them, Libya is among them. And, the, and that whole region, they're going to take down Babylon the Great, America. That time is fast approaching. So, beloved, I will leave it there. I hope you are edified or praises on and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh is our heavenly father and his only begotten son, our king, the redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.